Okay, this is for Pete K7PP. I've uh, kind of mimicked his uh, fan dipole. His was on 80, 40, and 20 meters. This is one that's 160, 80, and 40. And it doesn't do too bad of a job. Um, you can see there's three lines going off. The top one is the 160, the middle one is the 80, and the bottom is a 40. And that's a two foot by four, or excuse me, a, a one foot by two foot Lexan with an oak bridge uh, screwed to it. That so the oak is actually uh, supporting the main 160 meter wire. And then for the others, I just uh, drilled several holes and kind of weaved it in. And then of course they're all connected up to a one-to-one -to -one ballon. And then what I did was, of course, ran a rope up to support the center because of it being so long, and then down, and then I used some conduit uh, right there, just mainly to keep the squirrels from chewing on the chewing the insulation off of the like a coax, and that's LM400. And then for support, like K7PP, I use bamboo rods. I just happen to have several thousand of them because uh, of like, raising trees. And then used a silicone stretch tape to secure them. And then it runs down. Now, well, well, getting hard to see it. Anyway, it uh, runs down there. Okay, that is the the center is the 40 meter, and as you can see, it basically just took uh, two bamboo sticks and then uh, wrapped them together for support, pulled it tight and then with an additional support there. And then down here is where it drops right there to the 80 meter and the bottom part with the insulator on it is the 80 meter. And then it's parachute cord running and pulling it tight. And I must say is his design worked out really well. I'll show you what the SWRs look like on it here in a second. Okay, I'm going to show you the SWR for 160 meters with the fan dipole. Here it's set for 160 meters. And you have to hit the right button in order to get it to work. So not, not all that great, but not bad. Okay, even though it's not cut for the 60 meter band, I thought I'd go ahead and show you that. Okay, this is for the 80 meter portion and there was a particular frequency that I was targeting and it was dead on for the the minimum SWR. Okay, this is for the 40 meter band. Okay. Okay, 30 meter and 20 meter was pretty much useless, uh, somewhere around between 4 and 10 for the SWR. And uh, so this is the 17 meter. Which also apparently is useless. 
And that's interesting because before I ran a test on it, I was right at 2 to 1. So apparently something that I did with the modification changed that. Okay, this is the 15 meter band. Okay. Okay, this is the 10 meter band. Okay, now on the 6 meter band. Well, definitely usable in some areas. Okay, this is the 17 meter band which I was so perplexed about. And let me show you why. I took some photos before when I was uh, had just had it up and without a one to one ballon. And the only thing I changed was I put the one to one ballon in. At least it's the only thing I can think of that I did that might change things. But whatever I did, it definitely made a big difference on 17 meters. Oh well.